Hi, my name is Joe. I'm a technician here at New Life Scientific. Today we have the um, Thermoscientific Cryomed Controlled Rate Freezer, model 7454. Um, over here we have the uh, chamber vent, vents out the uh, air from the chamber during running. We have a compression, it's like a compression T-handle here. If you look at when you close, you rotate, then it actually compresses the door up against the seal. So one thing you have to keep in mind is when you're opening and closing it, you kind of have to use your body to give it a little bit of a push in so that it can engage and disengage. We have a double seal here. So here's your vent from the inside, it's your chamber, and over here you have your fan and your coils that distribute your liquid nitrogen. There's also a heater back there for heating the chamber up, thawing it. You have your sample probe for measuring the temperatures of your samples, and in here is the chamber temperature sensor. Give it a little squeeze. This is kind of a standard rack setup that comes that people generally get with these for, I believe, I think 1.2 and 2 milliliter vials. Each, each rack holds 161, I believe. And over here we have the control panel. You have, I believe, th six preset profiles from Thermo that they include, and then 10 customizable profiles for whatever unique situations you might have. Um, you also have a configure calibrate screen where you can put in password, you can put a passcode on so no one can interrupt or run or change settings. Um, settings for your chart recorder which you can, which is attachable in the back. Your printer controls and then your calibration for your sample and uh, chamber probe and service. Up here is your printer. It actually prints out, um, while you're in a run, it'll print out an entire chart <clears throat> from the run showing, showing your temperatures throughout time so you can see how the run went, if there's any problems. Um, this unit also allows you to hook up a PC and run software that Thermo made for this to do all this monitoring on your software instead of having printouts. It's pretty nice. Um, back here, it's just your manifold for your uh, liquid nitrogen here. Here's your connections for your chart recorder and your computer. And this is typically what you'll see for your liquid nitrogen not lines. You'll have, you should have them insulated like this. This is about, this has about 12 feet, but uh, with fittings with flared ends for a nice tight seal. Um, yeah, that's about all for this unit. It's pretty nice. But, uh, thanks for your time. Hope you liked it.